celebrated war veteran in other jurisdictions. War veterans who fought in the army are accorded some special consideration. He rose from a constable to a major, evading bullets and guns and mortar to protect his nation. He is before you harmless, crying for mercy, and requesting that that enters into record as he awaits the sentence. Number two. What will be the consequences of the unlike the likely event or unlikely event of him being put behind bars as a in custody? One, he's a member of parliament and definitely within 90 days an election shall be conducted. Considering the prevailing medical COVID coronavirus conditions, which is a reality to everybody, and the social distancing, you know, we shall be exposing a massive infection in Syriza constituency whose campaigns must be done. There is no law in place to allow for Virgil voting for a general election. You know, this is a corona time. The courts have taken judicial notice of that. The protocols that have been put in place is to decongest prisons. Already the policy of sentencing, the judicial policy of sentencing, was geared towards that. The coronavirus has made it completely live now. Among the most dangerous people, are people like my age and him, not Cliff. <laughs> he is among the vulnerable group medically. If he goes to prison, the risk becomes twice. He's already exposed to a serious risk by his age now. If he goes to prison, we are now enhancing the risk double. Your Honor, we add that he should not be condemned to a slow death that Justice Mativo has said in that case. That was slow death. This might be a sure death out of corona and the long duration will be there. You know, I have just been told that here seated before you is a man who saved the late President Moy in the 1982 coup. That is his contribution. That is his star. A man who when his time comes for eulogy to be read, it will be said that he saved the head of state from an impending coup in 1982. Your Honor, 1982, the famous coup of Pancras Otua, Ochuka. Your baby was not born that time. <laughs> 1982. <laughs> is that there is a general feeling that this is a member of parliament with a lot of impunity. They do what they do. May it go on record that the alleged offense was committed not when he was a member of parliament. And nowhere has the prosecution produced evidence that he has been charged under the CDF misappropriation. Therefore, this is a man who respects the law. <clears throat> so that your honor, as you take to put down the sentence, put the sentence in light of the time of the offense, not in the time of today. 
that he's a member of parliament. The, 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 the accused person here, the convict now here, has serious medical conditions. The judiciary has been brought aware of these facts. May it not be as in John Gakou's matter when the judiciary was blamed. Sorry, uh, was the judiciary blamed? He's praying to break. He has come to you like Freon to allow him to breathe. Kindly don't deny him the right to breathe. Poor people are allowed to breathe. Yes, that's what I'm going to He's gasping for breath. Thank you. He's gasping for breath not to go to a custodial sentence. He goes out. Yes, you're in the in the form of the